All right, so let's look at uh, video options uh, for these devices. So the Asus Transformer has a micro HDMI port. Uh, but one of the things I don't like doing is just buying a cable that's specific to the micro HDMI port. So one of the things that I've uh, purchased is this little adapter. It actually uh, goes from micro to standard HDMI. And the same thing is true uh, if you don't want to have a dedicated cable, just as, as, as I chose not to. The same thing is true, but in a larger form for the Samsung and also the iPad. So in order to be able to watch video through the Samsung Galaxy Tab, you need to have this cable, which allows you to connect uh, this to the Samsung Galaxy Tab, provide power, it has to be powered, and then also then connect your HDMI port to this uh, or cord uh, cable to the actual TV. If we think about the iPad, the iPad also requires an adapter, very similar. Uh, so here you basically plug into the actual iPad, you have your HDMI uh, cable goes here, and then this is where uh, you could uh, power up the iPad. Now the difference though is that the iPad does not require to be powered uh, using an AC adapter at the time that you're pushing video to a TV. That is that is the case with the actual Samsung Galaxy Tab. So I would say kind of that's kind of one of the, one of the uh, probably negatives about that experience. Now once again, you could choose to purchase a cable that is not um, a standard HDMI and have something that's micro. But if you don't want cables hanging out of your PC, one for or, or from your t television set, and you just want to use a standard cable, I suggest getting one of these little adapters that converts, because then all you simply do is you take this, you plug this in, and you plug that in, and it makes for a much cleaner experience. So let's take a look at how things look playing a video on these three devices. Okay, so how do you get movies onto these devices. Well, first of all, if you're working with the iPad, the only way to get a movie on the iPad is uh, that's not like Netflix, is using iTunes and using your sync cable to load it. Now keep in mind that if you're going to load a movie that you've ripped, it has to be in a specific format unless you use a program like VLC, which I highly recommend. That will allow you to play uh, virtually almost any format, uh, but it's much more flexible. The other option is if you're using the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the way you upload a movie to it is by either connecting it to the network and then um, drag and dropping it onto the device or um, using this adapter. This adapter allows you to connect to the very bottom of the Galaxy Tab and it basically takes a uh, USB stick that once you've loaded the movie on the USB stick you'd be able to use this to either play a movie from it or to copy a movie from it to your actual Galaxy Tab. Now for the Asus, uh, one of the things about Asus that makes this um, such a great tablet is that it actually has a uh, micro SD slot. So I could actually take this micro SD slot, uh, use one of these micro SD readers, insert it into it, and then copy the file using a PC or a Mac, and then insert this in the actual tablet, which is again fast and it's also not as bulky as this. I could actually leave this inside of the Asus Transformer and not have to worry about this adapter. So again, uh, those are the different ways that you can get movies onto uh, these three different devices as they compare to playing video. So let's look at connecting the uh, Galaxy Tab, how it would compare to the Asus Transformer. Um, we talked about this adapter a couple seconds ago, so here's my power, here is my HDMI, and here's the cable going to the Samsung Galaxy Tab. I have on the screen, I have the actual uh, application open so you can see we're going to uh, we can actually see the application on the screen and I'll be tapping the Iron Man movie just so we can see how it looks both on the tablet as well as how it looks on the screen so just take, let's take a All look right, at that. So I'll go ahead and hit play and the first thing you'll see is that Netflix will load you'll see that all the controls are still there so you can pause if you'd like the movie and then if we go up to the television you'll see that it's also showing on the screen. Uh, the quality is good um, audio is good as well and you can see both on the tablet and on the screen uh, the video. So if I were to go back for a second 
One other thing that I'll just point out is that you'll notice that here are all of the movies that appear in Netflix. You can see that on the screen clearly. And when you look on the t television, it takes up the entire screen. So there's no cutting off. Everything is visible. Let's see what the Asus Transformer looks like. All right, so I loaded Netflix up, um, have it for Iron Man. And remember we talked about that the uh, Asus actually uses or has a micro HDMI port. Um, and that's what we see right here. This is our uh, micro HDMI connector. So what we're going to do is we are going to be connecting uh, my HDMI cable. I use my adapter for that since I like having just one cable. We'll connect it to the side and see how it looks on the screen. Right. So I have went ahead and I connected the HDMI cable with my adapter to the actual tablet. Now if we look at the screen, again just like the other tablet uh, you have from Samsung, everything is full so we have full screen. Let's go ahead and see how the video looks. So start up the video. It is loading. If we look at the tablet real quick, you see that the uh, image is on the screen. It does not appear on the screen just like we had with the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So there's nothing visible on the tablet. The controls are still there. So if I want to pause it, forward it, it's still there. If I look here on the screen, again, I got a full screen um, being displayed, so good quality. Actually, I think um, it does a little better job than the Samsung does with that uh, Tegra 3 uh, processor. But nothing appears on the actual screen unless you touch it, and then you have the controls, but the video is not there. Let's see how the actual iPad. The iPad, yes. I've connected the actual, I have Iron Man up, uh, Netflix up. I have my cable connected with my HDMI. Look at the screen here. We actually have Netflix. There is a difference, though. Unlike the other tablet, we where we saw all of the background, uh, it seems like the iPad tends to cut off uh, the display. But let's see how the video looks. We'll go ahead and hit play. Netflix is loading. All right, so we have that. And here we have uh, the movie playing. Um, unlike the other tablet, so here we have the uh, my other tablet. Uh, all you see is the Netflix logo on the screen. You don't see anything playing. So just like when we're looking at the Asus, where there was it was just black. This one happens to be red. The controls are still visible, just like with the other tablet. And and again, um, you can see everything on the screen, and the quality is um, also really good. But in this case, the actual full screen is full so that cutting that we saw earlier is really not there now I'd say as we look at these tablets and let me just pause this so that we can so that there isn't any noise uh, the biggest difference I've seen so far is the I'd say the the new transformer prime does do a phenomenal job of graphics in my opinion it looked even better on the television set than the actual Samsung but again we're talking about two different graphic chips the iPad does a great job it looks as good as I would say as a transformer prime uh, the difference is though that it does tend to cut things off of the screen as we saw and uh, also it gives you this Netflix uh, backdrop when you're watching the video versus the uh, the transformer prime just goes black so uh, that's my review of the graphics when we think about um, how we watch video on these three devices I uh, hope um, you enjoy the video and if you have any questions leave them on this YouTube channel